This ad is brought to you by the AMC Movie Theaters, where you can find many, many movies you want to see released in films. Now here it is. Something I want to do for a while. The people that inspired me to do this show. And here it is. Now let's get started. I'm on a mission, the powers and call me away. I'm on the time to carry the colors again. My motivation and no past won't be defend. To win the honor of coming back home again. No explanation will matter after we begin. I'm not the dark, destroy your max, bury the name. My true vocation and now my unfortunate friend. You will discover my own war, you're unable to win. I'm as you know. What's up guys, me again. Today, I'm gonna count down the top 10 people that I like, that I like to do this show. They inspired, they are fantastic, they are comedic gold. And something to keep in mind just in case, I'll be showing clips. But don't worry, their, their links will be in the description below to check out their channels. And respect, and are from them respectively. And also, they are not technically for children since they do curse a lot and use adult humor. But I try to keep my, I like them, I try to keep my viewership child friendly. So think of me as a child friendly version of those guys. But with that said, let's get started. And these are my top 10 idols of YouTube critics. Number 10 Isaac the Media Hunter. Probably tell from the Gecko, you can probably tell from the gecko that this guy's a World Warcraft fan. I mean, I'm actually impressed he was able to do this kind of thing. <laughs> Brings my effects to shame. But, he's really good at it because it seems he's been playing the game for a while. And, well, somehow I managed to do this. <laughs> Maybe I wish I had that kind of technology. Anyway, hey, I got to do best what I got here. And, and I think it's, well, he reviews movies with animals in them. And it can be very entertaining if it wants to be. Even though that he does use CG himself. Because I mean he's a CG avatar of World of Warcraft. But he can still be entertaining. And, and funny if he wants to be. Was probably the producer's explanation to whoever he test marketed this to. And I kind of move like this too. <laughs> sorry to make funny of you but sorry. Anyway. Hey, Isaac, I recommend you guys see. If you're old enough to see his show or something, but he's a pretty good entertainer, especially when he's voicing an avatar in World of Warcraft. Next number. Number 9. Rob the Wonderful. Well, Rob is an 80s kid. I don't know what the 80s were like, as I was raised in the 90s. But, uh, uh, Rob is still pretty much entertaining too. I mean... The guy reviews animated shows and movies, and he likes to uh, introduce products based off those things. And also, one time I think he very a video game based off one based off them. And Rob also does his funny voyage and things he watch. And he recently made it to his hundred episode this year. He's impressive, though. It took him longer than it should, and it took him eight years. And it's taking taking me about a couple years to get my get to my hundred episode. Hmm. Anyway, hey, hey, Rob is a pretty good reviewer and entertainer at heart. And plus, as he did, he get he also managed to get this. It's even divided like that on the DVD release. Of course, I have the complete series, and not to boast or anything, but I got one autographed by Larry Kenny, the voice of Lionel. I met him a few times, actually. Really nice guy, by the way. Yeah, that's right. I met lion -O for reals! Don't act like you're not jealous. Jealous? Me? <laughs> yeah, right. If only I could met Jim Cummings like that a few times. Yeah, regardless, Rob, a wonderful, is a wonderful reviewer. On to the next number. Number eight. The Cartoon Hero. I seem like, like an average Joe, kind of like me, but he can be a great hero, especially when reviewing bad show, animated shows and movies. But I respect this guy, really. I mean, he points out obvious flaws and makes fun of them. 
the, then again, doesn't every critic? Anyway, he could be a funny guy. I, when he reviews bad movies and games, bad movies and shows, he does it with great responsibility. And he'd be funny when he wants to be. Case in point. Pokemon anime was made like the Pokemon Adventures manga instead of this, and it's hailed as one of the greatest anime of all time. Like the Doctor Who of Pokemon, or more appropriately, Jojo. I'm not familiar with Doctor Who, but anyone can compare Pokemon to an iconic guy like that? It deserves a point in my book. And I love Pokemon, and I respect a critic that loves it too. On the next one. Number 7. The Hardcore Kid. Hardcore Kid is a funny guy. Sure, he's he's kind of like me. I mean, besides the swearing and adult humor, but we both review kids' film. When he does it hardcore style, I do it, I do it child-friendly style. We both have different styles. Besides, I think the cooler critics wear shades. <laughs> anyway, he's still a pretty good entertainer. And... And, anyway, if you don't believe me... As much of false advertisement as those everlasting gobstoppers! You know what I mean? And that's just his calm version. <laughs> you see the rest of the video. On to the next number! Number 6. Huey Two More. You and I have a lot of things in common. We both have facial hair, both wear shades, both have a love of animated films, both Go to cons one point or another. We both live in Florida. We both have fan fictions and deviant art pages. And we both have a YouTube channel. And we review good and bad animated films. Well, I review yeah, live action kids films too, but whatevs. Anyway, Huey, he is a great guy. Number five. Matt and Hatter from Books vs. Movies. That's an opening debate right here. It's people, it's a guy that's representing the movies based off the books, and the books themselves. With their own representative. They ask the big question, which is better, the book or the movie? It's like, comparing the movie of Lord of the Rings to the book they're based off of. Which is better, the book or the movie? That's the big question. And these guys always give us the answer. You rotten Death Eater! Yeah, I'll show you! Look how much bigger my watch is than yours! You. And it's you made by Hank Green! And it's got a horror! Yeah, Look, yeah, Voldemort's yeah, dead! Yeah, yeah. I killed him! Uh, really? He's... The, the dark he killed him? Dead. Yeah, just just now. But oh, she... <laughs> That's great, Harry! It, where, where, uh, where's the where's the body? Well, the, 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 there isn't exactly a, a body. He kind of dissolved in, into this sort of burned paper type stuff and it if you can still kind of see so no it's it's gone now but but it, it was I, I swear I, I I killed him he's he's not he's gone he's we he's not fighting now we're we, we won those two guys are like peanut butter and jelly next number number four the angry video game nerd if you're a kid from the 80s and you played video games from the 80s and grow and grow up and soon realize I can't believe you just play this crud! You get the angry video game nerd. And... It is not very job friendly, let me tell ya. But, he's entertaining at the least. And, well, he does this in the bad games he plays now. <laughs> that is just on his good days. Next number. Number three. Ah yes, my favorite, before. a little so loving, and Latino heat critic. Of Back, I'm Hispanic on my mother's side. And, and Erod is from Puerto Rico, and my family from my mother's side is from Puerto Rico too. So I can relate to Erod a bit. And, we're both fanboys. Yes, and we both have a love of movies. And, we have similar cast members, right? Okay, see, Nerdly has always been my haircut on a show. Oh, the DJ can dig it with a lover. 
We can hook up some chicks here and there. What up, dog? I guess if it's me and Fordor Freddy can make some really good business decisions and make some good flicks here and there and make some little green too. <laughs> right. Anyway, next number. Number two. Favorite comic, comic book reading reviewer. This guy is funny and hilarious, especially with the cro when he does crossover with other critics. <sighs> and currently, he's gonna do a crossover with Erod for the Just League movie. And because it's like him, Erod, and me have something in common. We're all reviewers, and yet somehow, some way, baddies keep coming into our homes and trying to make our lives miserable. Hmm. Ah well, best of when you mess them. But, regardless, it's high love Linkara and his work. And he is definitely a man! Next number. And the number one, my favorite internet critic idol is... <laughs> yes. The guy who remembers it, so we don't have to. This guy's hilarious and fun with his reviews. I mean, even when he makes one of the good films, he still makes it good. Even though we disagree with him on some occasions. Anyway, I love the critic when he's being funny. And when he uses his hilarious memes. Oh boy, I could go on and on about this guy. But, I'm on a time limit. I'm almost reached my time limit anyway. Anyway, hey. And I love the critic and his work. And, you know, whatever you do, do not mention the back credit card around him. The back credit card! Uh, yeah, I better wrap this up. So, anyway, I want to hear from you. Who is your favorite internet critic? Aside from me, of course. And, and let me know in the comment section below, and let me know what you think. Till then, this is Casey. See you next time, hopefully. And, toodles! The back credit card! Farewell friends, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on Patreon, Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, FanFiction.net, Rattled, and Casting Call Club.